Hello, good morning. Welcome to Ham Radio 2.0 live from the Ham Shack. My name is Jason and my call sign is Kilo Charlie 5 Hotel Whiskey Bravo. And today we're going to be looking at a brand new HT from Bridgecom, the BCH-220 handheld HT radio. This guy right here. Uh, this came out like a month, maybe a month ago, something like that. And they're working on a... Um, you go to their website, it's just bridgecomsystems.com, bridgecomsystems.com. They're working on, uh, they've, got a, they've got a really cool uh, 220 megahertz repeater, and they do, uh, they do some stuff with some digital networks, like some uh, uh, DMR and Moto Turbo uh, systems, and they just released this HT because they see the need for the 220 megahertz band, uh, they see how it's growing, and um, they want to uh, contribute to the 220 megahertz band, which uh, there's not many, you know, this this radio is made, the company's based out of the USA. I don't know if they get their stuff made overseas like uh, Connect Systems does or not, but um, they're, working on a, they're working on a mobile unit right now. This is their HT unit. I'll have the mobile unit when it drops. So um, they contacted me. I've actually talked to those guys a few times, the real nice guys. They were at the Joplin Ham Fest. They were at Hamcom in uh, in Irving, Texas, uh, this past June. Uh, didn't make it to Dayton this year, but I'm sure those guys were there. And I think they were down at um, I think they were at Belton, if I remember correctly. But uh, real real good uh, good group of guys out there. Real helpful. You can contact them directly and buy straight from them, uh, kind of like you can Connect Systems. Uh, I don't deal these on my website, but um, you can you can find them at gr uh, BridgecomSystems.com. And they asked me to review their radio, and I told them I would be happy to do it. So today we're going to take a look at the HT. It's just a very simple um, monoband 5 watt, uh, 220 megahertz HT for the for the amateur radio operator. And we got quite a bit of uh, 220 megahertz repeaters here in the Dallas Fort Worth area. There is a net. Uh, if you're from the Dallas Fort Worth area, you ever drive through on Thursdays? There's a net on 224.780 uh, megahertz, run by. Um, a couple of guys out of the Mansfield Club. Uh, it's on, uh, again, 224.78 in South Fort Worth is the repeater they use at 8.30 p.m. every Thursday night. I've checked into that net several times. If I'm in town and not otherwise occupied, I'll, I'll, you'll hear me check into that net. And uh, it's a really fun net. They usually have anywhere from 5 to 15 or so check-ins, and it's been growing over the last few months that they've been doing it. So uh, really good to hear some activity on 220. Uh, the Arlington Club has a really good 220 repeater. The Denton Club has a really good 220 repeater. The Irving Club, uh, there's two or three good ones in Dallas. There's a couple others in Fort Worth besides just the .78 machine. And then uh, Mansfield Club, they have one that they have on a temporary location right now. They're trying to get it up on a water tower. It'll be at 224.460. Once they finally get it up, uh, you can kind of hear it from uh, from the Grapevine area. Not not really. It's really spotty. I usually can't get into it, but um, once they get it up and going, it should be another powerhouse. 220. There's no noise floor in the Dallas Fort Worth area. A lot of guys I know who used to talk on 900 megahertz have jumped ship and gone to 220 because it's so far reaching. Uh, there's no noise floor. You can reach out there a long ways, and you can be sitting in Plano and talking to a guy in South Fort Worth and both talk, be talking on the same repeater and hold a perfectly 100% copy conversation. So 220 megahertz is up and coming. I expect to see more uh, more videos on uh, 220 megahertz radios, uh, both um, uh, multibanders and uh, monobanders. And uh, this one today is for the HT from Bridgecom Systems. So uh, let's take a look at this radio and see what we can find out. Here we have the Bridgecom BCH220 handheld radio unboxing. You can see uh, right here, let me zoom in just a touch, bridgecomsystems.com, facebook.com slash bridgecomsystems, and then twitter.com slash bridgecomsys. It's got their phone number there of 816-532-8451. They're in Sm Smithville, Missouri. Uh, which is one reason they were in Joplin. So this guy is going to be, yeah, the box got a little banged up in shipping, but um, it uh, didn't damage the radio at all. So let's let, let's open this up and take a look at it. Got a programming cable with it. They've got their own software. Um, it's got a little instruction sheet here 
uh, about how to it supports Windows 8 and 10 according to this it says where to get their software download Bridgecom software at bridgecomsystems.com slash pages slash support and uh, you can get the owner's manual there too probably in a PDF file I haven't looked but uh, it's got a phone number there you can call them directly a number in the United States if you have any questions about it this is the box this is the radio uh, desktop charger belt clip US standard plug that's always a good thing right and there's the radio it's got the voice on it sounds like a Chinese radio they might it might be made over China, over in China I don't really know I uh, wonder if it says here on the on the boom uh, it's got an FCC ID. It's got the model number. It's got the transmit band 222.222.224.995 megahertz, five watts. Made in China. It it is made in China. According to that sticker right there, it's made in China. But you've got a U.S. manufacturer um, supporting it <clears throat> and um, selling it directly to the amateur radio public. So much like Connect Systems. Um, you can get support without having to go overseas, so that's always a good thing. So we've got a. I put the antenna on it. Comes with a little antenna. SMA female here. SMA male here. So let's put this on the. I want to see if it's actually doing the power that it says it is. I imagine that it is. So let's put the meter over here. And I don't know why I keep putting this antenna back on. This on it here. And it's got uh, function power. It's got two power settings, low and high. Function, F for function. The number two key is the power key, and then you got your up and down keys. So power low power high. You don't need any more than two power settings on an HT. These HTs that have three power settings, I don't get it. Who would use... I don't ever take my HT off of high power, honestly. Unless I'm standing underneath the repeater talking to a station that's not close by, which is... <laughs> I can't remember if I've ever done it, actually. But I don't know why you would ever need three power settings on an HT. So, let's try low power first. We got the meter set to five watts right there. Wow, that's low power. Four, shoot, four and three quarters watts, just underneath five watts. I bet you that high power is going to be the same. Function, power. Actually, that was high power. I guess the menu didn't take. Okay, low power. Let's zoom in a tad here. Low power keyed up. We're at, on the 5 watt scale, we're at just, we're about a half a watt. Got about half a watt right there. And this is on 224.800, which is a local repeater in the DFW Metroplex. Let's go to 223, which is the, the national calling frequency on 220. And you're almost a watt. This is, again, this is low power. Almost one watt on low power. We change it to, to high power, about four and a half watts, four and three quarters watts, just barely under five watts, plenty of room. Well, okay, see, now th this, is a, this is something that I have with this meter. Again, this is an MFJ meter. It's not the most reliable meter in the world, but it's pretty, it's pretty close. I, I borrowed a friend's uh, bird watt meter. Uh, early on when I first got this and I compared the two and they were within like a half a watt of each other at the time this was about a year ago so I key up high power on 223.500 if you can see and there you go 223.500 the national calling frequency for 220 I change it to the 20 watt scale over here right here I key up on the 20 watt scale which is the middle needle and it's about it's about six watts Key in six walks on two two three five hundred. I'm going to go back to two two four. Two two four dot eight zero zero. Again, we're going into a dummy load here. 
I had a guy come in and talk to my video one time. He made a comment on my YouTube page and says, I never heard you ID. We're going into a dummy load, guys. I'm not keying anything. None of my videos key anything unless I specifically say, hey, we're going to key up a repeater. 6 watts, 224.800. I don't have an offset going right now. 6 watts into 224.800 on high power. So that's good. That's a heck of a... Uh, that's a heck of a power output for 220. A lot of these uh, HTs advertise 4 or 5 watts. Um, this one's actually doing about 6 watts. So, 85 bucks for this HT. Bridgecomsystems.com. Go in there. I don't think that includes shipping. I could be wrong about that. Um, but uh, go to Bridgecom Systems. If you need a 220 HT for under 100 bucks, this, uh, this one might be the one for you. There we have the Bridgecom Systems uh, BCH220 monoband 220 megahertz HT radio. It just goes through the handband 222.0 through 224.995. So it just covers the, uh, the FM portion of the 220 megahertz 1.25 meter handband. But as you can see, according to my meter, it's doing about 6 watts um, on the... Uh, the national calling frequency of 223.500 and also on uh, 224.800, which is a repeater offset here locally that we have um, the Arlington machine, which is a far-reaching, excellent, excellent coverage machine, 224.800 with a minus offset PL tone 110.9. Uh, talk on that repeater probably more than any other repeater right now. Uh, the Denton repeater at 224.92 which is also a PL tone of 110.9, is also a very, very good machine. So if you're out in uh, the Dallas-Fort Worth area and you have 220 capability, if you can get into either the the, uh, the Denton 224.92 or the Arlington 224.800 repeaters, either one of those are going to be good. Uh, you're probably going to find someone on one of those two repeaters most of the time. I've noticed that a lot of people just monitor. They may not throw their call sign out every... 10 minutes or 30 minutes or something like that. But the last two or three times I've thrown my call sign out, people have come back to me. So a lot of people out there are listening, and uh, we need to get people to key up more and just kind of announce when they're listening on the air. So, But this this radio is a very good radio. Uh, 85 bucks, bridgecomsystems.com, their website. Um, I don't remember, like I said earlier, I don't remember if that uh, includes shipping or not. I don't think that it does. I think you have to pay for shipping. But regardless... Uh, it's a very good, very simple HT radio, kicking about 6 watts on the 220 band, so uh, very lightweight, um, uh, du durable feeling. It's not, it doesn't feel like a Baofeng UV5R. It feels more sturdy than that, but it's, you know, it's not a Motorola or a Kenwood either, but it's, uh, for 85 bucks, man, it looks like it's going to be a good, uh, good addition to the 220 line. I'm looking forward to getting the Bridgecom, uh, uh, 220 mobile radio that they're coming out with. Uh, it's been delayed a couple of times. They're having some problems with the manufacturers, they said, or with the, uh, the uh, they're the vendor, but with the manufacturer, been some delays on it anyway. They, they want to get all the bugs worked out of it so that when it hits the market, it's going to be ready to rock and roll, um, which is good. That's, uh, like I said, Bridgecom, those guys are, they, uh, they know what they're doing. They take care of their customers. They're easy to work with, and they make a good product. So uh, go out there. And uh, when you order from them, uh, tell them that you saw the video on Ham Radio 2.0. And uh, hope to uh, hear you guys on 220 megahertz sometime. Uh, any anybody going to a ham fest that I'll that I'll be traveling to, I will have 220 on in the truck. So I usually like to get uh, out on the 220 megahertz repeaters when I get to a ham fest uh, somewhere. I'm going to be for a day or two. I'll always throw my call sign out on a 220 repeater if it's if uh, if it'll come back to me if I can get a courtesy tone from it. So uh, 73 guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you found me on YouTube, go to livefromthehamshack.tv. You can see all the videos I've done up to date. You can uh, uh, support me with donations on the right-hand column, and you can see uh, and you can make suggestions, comments on the videos that are there, and suggestions for new videos upcoming. 73, uh, thank you for watching.